Welcome to the Plato Lounge, where we just chill. Man, this swamp is hella creepy. Diminutive creature sporting a red hat glares at you. You recognize the red cap, a fey creature known for its bloodlust. <laughs> that noise. Is the creature pretending to be a sheep? What are you doing? You seize me! <clears throat> Nosy, scum sucking, lice ridden little ball bag! Get out! Or I bite tongue, eat tongue! Oh, delicious tongue! I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I bleed you! Gotcha. Make many delicious holes. Yes. Yes. Lame. I was gonna try to do this fight without really spending any of my resources, but looks like I have to take them up a little bit more seriously. No time to waste. Again. 
I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Auntie Ethel, please. One more bite, and this pie is gonna come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. You're eating for two, so get to it. Oh, if it isn't my hero. You took ages. Come in, come in. Feel free to relax yourself and have a cuppa, hmm? Gods, grant me patience. Eat up, Marina. I won't say it again. So, Do you treat all your guests so poorly? Hmm? You're quite right, Petal. Forgive me if I get a bit sharp. My work wears something awful on me. You see, I help people from all over Faerun. And you, Petal, well, you need a lot of help. That regular swimming in your brain juice is a bit of an inconvenience, isn't it? Why is she with you? Busy bodies are not appreciated around here. Let's not make trouble for some stranger. We have our own problems. I'll talk about your regular, and that's it. Last warning. This woman is clearly in trouble. You want to play the hero so badly? Fine. Let's make this interesting. Ugly little thing, huh? Man, why are you guys so far away? Just like old times. Swift and lethal. Gone far. All right, running away like a little coward. Moving ahead. Okay, a secret lair. I think I'll stay a while. Has that wriggler eaten your brain already? Leave. Or you'll end up in tonight's stew. It'll go nicely with Marina. She's already marinating. waves of fear as the presence within the door recoils it can't let people through not again what happened last time you opened images flash a man cowering a bag open at his feet 
gold coin spilling onto the floor. His cries for mercy are cut short as the hag slices into him, dismembering him painstakingly, limb by limb. She cackles, the man's remaining flesh twisted and contorted, becoming the twisted surface of the door before you. Flee, you feel it cry. I'm not afraid of that hag. The scene appears in your mind. Two paladins and a cleric marching through the door, shrouded in the glow of the divine. Weapons brandished, they charge into the hag's lair. Screams of terror pierce the air. You let them in? Nobody. That's a decade for each. You're mine for thirty more years, Petal. I mean it. Let me through. The door stays silent. Its form flickers, and you realize that the door is transparent. If I kill the hag, you'll be free. You see the hag. She walks through the door, its form shimmering. The lightest touch of hope brushes your mind as the presence within retreats. Good to know. Wait. Don't worry, I'll come back for you guys. Hello, Petal. My, my, the mask suits you. Just relax. See the world with fresh eyes. And let your dear old Auntie Ethel look after you. This is when stuff gets interesting. Let me take care of you. A trap. Someone doesn't like visitors. to my home, interfere in my business, and now have the gall to face me in the heart of my lair, you petulant bollocks! I'll rip your spine out your asshole! I'll use your blood to spice my stew! I'll keep you alive until I've sucked the marrow from your bones! I'll bring you back and do it all over again. Just get out of here, please. Damn, she's got some anger issues. Not 
Siege won't last long. Nor will the girl. Yep, yeah, probably not. Damn, why is that in action? Damn, she's got hops. Chances. Just in case she tries to give us the okie doke. Yes, oh my gosh. She needs to shut up. <laughs> Tails? Nice dodge. Wait, how many times does she get to opportunity attacks? So the real one is here. One should be wet, right? Because I threw water on top of one of them. Wait, one is level one, one is level five. 
looks like. Well, I guess I could get rid of these ones. I believe it's got to be the level five one, right? Please hit. Nice. What I want is Marina, alive and free. But she's worthless to you. Let me leave with the girl, and I'll give you power. You want to be stronger, tougher, smarter, done. Anything is possible. Just let me keep the girl and her babe. It's your choice, sweetness. If you want to live, hand over Marina and this power right now. Damn. Oh, no. Ooh, sweet. Ah, there we go. Greedy little ballocks. Fine. Here. I'll not soon forget this sweetness. Okay. Okay, now the goal is to kill her anyway. Because I can play tricks too. We need to leave. She might not be dead. I don't even know if she can die. She's dead. You're safe now. I thought I was lost. 
could feel my mind slipping away. If it weren't for you, I would have ended up like the others, hollowed out and as good as dead. Where will you go now that you're free? Home. To Baldur's Gate. This isn't over yet. How did you end up here? Sheer desperation. My mother's mind is gone. She's forgotten herself. I tried medicine, magic, prayer. I'd have begged Merkel himself if I thought he'd listen. Heard about this wise woman out in the back end of nowhere who could help. I knew it was too good to be true, but I didn't care. What do you mean, this isn't over? You think Ethel was the only hag in the realms? Not by a long shot. There's more hags out there. And I'm going to do what I can to make sure no one else has to go through what I did. Oh damn, she's like low health. I know I should head home, but I can't bring myself to leave. The thought of putting him in a wheelbarrow and making the journey all over again. I found a wand. I think I can resurrect your husband. What? You can? You feel a surge of power from the wand. The air suddenly tastes acrid. It wants to be used. Bring it back! Bring Connor back! Please! <laughs> what? What's happening? Why is he still dead? You feel something pull at you. The creature yearns for a master. What have you done to him? <laughs> so the hag fulfills her promise. It can never be simple, can it? This is your husband. Do you want him or not? Connor? Connor! <sighs> I don't even know if he's in there. But he might be. And if he is, I'll find him and bring him back. Good luck to you and Connor. Thanks. But we'll need more than luck. A bloody miracle more like it. I'll find a wizard or something. Maybe someone in Baldur's Gate can help us. Connor always said you can find anything in that city. Remember? And thank you. I guess. Come on, love. Let's go. Like, damn, you couldn't just say thank you? That's be thank you, I guess. But where are they going?
I do. Another illusion. Is anything real down here? Pretty dope, and that was our fourth entrance into the Underdark. So many different ways, aren't there? We haven't really been there yet. I guess it's our time to explore the Underdark. Alright, I don't think I'm supposed to jump down that. <laughs> it's starting to look like um, Elden Ring a little bit when they give you those little, uh, whatchamacallits. Dope. And then we're surrounded by mushrooms. One hell of a mole. What the hell was that? Dead drown. Fall injuries from the looks of it. Hell no. What the hell is that? Thing is creepy as hell. Oh my gosh, it does a lot of damage too. kill this thing as fast as possible. Only 153 health, that's not crazy. Damn, Lazel. In that one turn she did what? Uh, 15 plus 53 is 68 damage. Like, not bad. Oh, sweet. No, um... One day I'll catch a break. Opportunity attack. And I just discovered this slashing, fur, uh, slashing flourish. Essentially, I could do it on the same target, which doesn't make any sense, because it says attack up to two enemies at once. Like, that wording makes me think it's only for two people, but I could use both of them on the same person. Oh my gosh, 90%. That means we get to... Ooh, ooh, turn on sharpshooter. All right, damn, drops all the way to sixty-five. I get. Damn, and we get our second attack. Uh, so much damage. What? Dust on my tongue. I offer to parlay, and he brings a spectator. Squit. Quite ruined my ambush. Now, you are? Rescue? Helpless babes are rescued. I allowed you to assist me. I am Dawn, third son of House Bartol, first rank evoker, and initiate of Graven Hollows. Oh. Oh, no, no, my dear dark gods below, no! What's that? A memory shard. They hold their glow for years. And it's fading. 
It contains knowledge that is precious to me. If it has grown this dull, then my enemies have already found the forge. Which bastard stole my glory? Zagrim? Phil Rowe? What forge? The Adamantine Forge. If it had been found, the name would ring throughout the Underdark. Unless... Huh. Ha! The fools must have turned back, or, better yet, died in the search. Good. If they had just surrendered their research to me, we might have found the forge together. But no. They hoarded their knowledge, left each of us clinging to scraps. I had the good sense to lock mine away in the shard. And now I can claim the forge alone. What knowledge does the crystal contain, exactly? Bold of you to ask. The others knew of the forge's defenses, its operation, but I know where to find it. The rest I can figure out with time. Now I am the only one searching. Or... almost the only one. You proved your power in freeing me, but I need no more rivals. Try to take this as a compliment, yes? Oh, what, he wants to fight us? Okay. He's kind of annoying me anyway. He sounds way too much like Gale. That does an insane amount of damage. What path lies before me? But the scarlet blood. It's true that many of my breath. It is my hope that my research, such designs, are part of. My colleagues and I are working to improve conditions in the Underdark. This need not be. Our kind has suffered needlessly for generations. Do you also seek peace among the Myconids? Truly remarkable. But why come to the Underdark, where they hold so much power? You were infected by an illithid tadpole. It's a miracle you're still intact. You must be worried sick, but have no fear. I have a friend who may be able to assist. Ormelium! I hope this is important, Blurg. My Zerkwood samples need constant attention. It is. This adventurer has an illithid tadpole inside his head, but he hasn't turned. No ceramorphosis. That's impossible, but intriguing. Are you looking to have it extracted? Geich, your head will make a fine trophy for my queen. Please hold. I understand your rage against my kin. My species has terrorized the Underdark for countless generations. But I assure you, I stand with the Society of Brilliance, not the colonies of my people. I have felt the shame of Loth herself. I understand, Omelam. Fool! They infest your head and invade your dreams and still you would parley. I ask only that you refrain from violence. I respect that your opinion of my kind may be... charged. If that settles matters for the time being, would you like a diagnosis? Open your mind to me. Let us see what lurks within. As the Meloan's mind pierces yours, the tadpole pulses with power. It feels ten times its size. Alive. Awake. Almost smug. This is most unusual. The incubation period should be complete, as should your transformation. But the lava is infused with strange magic. It appears to be in some form of stasis. Can you extract the tadpole? No. It appears to be shielded from physical and magical influence. Moreover, the cranium has undergone severe trauma. It is a miracle the brain functions at all. Extraction would risk much. 
Don't waste my time. Say what you mean. <clears throat> Death. It means you would have to die first to extract the tadpole. But not to worry. Should you transform, I will happily perform a new examination. A nautiloid? Fascinating. I have never set foot on one myself. They were our warships during the greatest eras of the Illithid Empire. We ruled the entire astral plane from their decks. The design was lost when the Gith rebelled and ended our dominion. So, all that probing was useless in the end. My apologies. I hoped the experience was not too unpleasant. But I have an idea. Oh, perhaps I should start taking notes. There may be a way to bypass that stasis. There are many alchemical substances that can influence the mind. Isn't the stasis why the tadpole hasn't killed me yet? I do not intend to shatter its protection. I need only bypass the interference that prevents me from communicating with the lava. Bypass? What kind of alchemy are we talking about? A tincture distilled from a collection of rare mushrooms. They have subtle psionic influence. I would require a fresh ton of madness and timusk spores. But be warned, in their natural state, both of these mushrooms can be quite dangerous. Timusks cause confusion in those that approach them. The tongue is self-explanatory. I think I already have what you're looking for. These are fine specimens. It will only take me a moment to brew them to proper potency. Omeluon turns away to prepare the potion, lost in its own musings. You must drink the entire draft. I can make no promises as to its taste. <laughs> what exactly is this going to do to me? It will lower the psionic defenses around the lava. If I cannot remove it, I may still be able to tell you more about its origin. Omeluan watches you with cautious intensity. It expects doubt. It expects fear. What aren't you telling me? Is this experiment dangerous? Only in that you may be a danger to yourself. What the potion may make you see or feel, I cannot determine. But unless you are already a step from death, it will not kill you. Um, yeah. You know what? I need some time to prepare, alright? Of course. Return when you are ready. You've certainly got a lot more individual ambition than your kin. Why is that? I was born with a propensity for arcane magic my people despise. It gave me the strength to resist the Elder Brain. Every waking hour I pushed back against its dire hold. My wizardry empowered me. The moment its control shattered, I fled before the colony discovered I had defected. So, are the tales of slavering, brain-lusting mind flayers exaggerated? In the beginning, I had an arrangement with a lich. Excellent company, despite what one would expect. I required brains, he required souls. A perfect symbiosis. But our ambitions eventually splintered. I wished to better the world. And he preferred its rot. So I left his company. And thus I now feed from those who act against the society's goals. Best way to deal with that sort of hunger, I suppose. Perhaps the peoples of the Underdark will be less inclined to violence if they comprehend the cost, yes?
Oh, hello. What? Gek! Got someone sneaking up on us! Wasn't expecting one of you drow to join the hunt. Praise the Absolute. Did something to upset Disciple Zarel. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. I'm here at the Absolute's bidding. That's all you need to know. Oof, got a one. Okay. I ain't the sort of question a drow, but that was the rottenest lie to ever meet my ears. And if you ain't who you say you are, I reckon you're fair game. Hmm. Then I reckon you're dead. Huh. Only 60%. Footprints Ali. Damn. Lazel, you ain't got no chill. I was about to one shot him, so uh, you know, I, I gave him a little handicap. That's all. The lesson is death. Ooh, counter spell. That's cute. Damn. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I mean, surely he has to concentrate. Uh, damn, he's such an, an awkward place. Counter spells. Damn. Holy cow, how much range do they have? Um. Is ever easy. 
I completely forgot about you. What? All of them freaking have one health? Are you kidding me? Swift as my feet can carry me. Victory is assured. Let's light them up. Oh my gosh. How many times have these cats been left with one HP? It's just crazy. It's just crazy how much that happens. A droning melody greets you as the creature turns its gaze to you. Flesh talker, I show you a memory. Watch and listen. A violent vision grips you. Dwega, dark dwarves chopping myconid remains. They broke our peace. They killed our young. The sovereign's song slows to the pace of a dirge. It is still in mourning. We laid waste to many. But intruders remain. Lakewood. The sovereign song halts as it measures your worth. I sense your resolve. 
You will find Dwergar invaders near Lake's Edge. Cleanse the rot. Destroy them. I suppose such wicked killers deserve wicked ends. The Dwergar are slain. The rot has been purged. The music shifts. Still melancholic, but now streaked with hope. Do you hear? A new harmony. Serenity. I name you Peace Bringer. Fragrant spores waft through the air. Your heart swells with bliss with your every breath. Freely you have given to us. Freely you may take. The Guardian Gate is open. Go and claim your reward. But before this, I have another boon to ask of you. You have cut out the Dwergar Blight, but not its source. In your mind's eye, Spore shows you a drow striding among Myconid dead. Near, this one is called. He hunted us. Hunt him in turn. Bring me his head, and I will know my circle is safe. My, this sovereign likes to delegate. There will be another reward for this, I hope. I ask a boon, and will give one in return. The drow lurks in the ruins beyond the lake. Bring him death, and return. Kill. Have a home. It mourns, moved by your emptiness. It reveals its own home in reply. A humid cove filled with decaying myconid corpses. Where God destroyed my people. I am a sovereign with no circle. This circle does not welcome me, but I have heard the song. You mean to cleanse the Dwergar rot. I mean to join you. The Dwergar are already dead. I must see it for myself. Lead me to the rot. Oh, come on. I wish to see it faster. But go there your damn self. Man a nomad, I remain. Well, yeah. You're a nomad. <laughs> I mean, if you're a nomad, then stop being so damn lazy and go take a walk. Is that a hook whore? Damn thing is huge. Wow. Ninety seven damage just like that. Are right, they slashing flourish thing is broken?
Uh, that's awkward. Damn, Lazel's got hops. That's crazy. Taking position. Bill Rowe, the Forgotten. Still breathing, despite everything. Best be on my way. Oh, snap, another one. Attack. Onward. Not if I can help it. Is that the choker? Like, who the hell is laughing like that? Taking position. Oh, that was Gail? Holy cow. Best be on my way. on the lake's murky waters. <laughs> 